Hey there everyone, JCP Goku here, bringing you guys another Dokken Battle video. And as you see the title of the video, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> we're going to showcase this new unit, Mira. I have not used him uh, like to see what he does. I might have, I don't know if I link leveled him a little bit or not. Uh, very little. Um, link leveling is kind of like a very tedious thing to do, but other than that, let's see what this guy can do in Extreme Super Battle Road. Like I said, I got a lot of supports on the team, and I got two or three really hard, solid units. Um, uh, of course, we get the optimal team here. So... First things first. I'm gonna start taking out the. Actually. No, we'll keep focusing on you. And then. Bardock does attack, attack a lot, so. I have a feeling with just this should be enough. I'm not here to set new records, we're just here to test out the new Mira to see what he does um, on this team. So I decided to run him on the on the boot category. What is it? Uh, ooh. Yeah, I forgot what his uh, what this category is. Android and Fortnite. Demonic power. Sorry, it was demonic power. And uh, Mira. Uh, my thoughts on him? Don't know yet. As soon as we get to use him, we'll find out. But his awakened form is a good sub lead. He does give uh, physical types key plus three, attack, health, attack, and defense ninety percent, which is like an LR, LR stat. And uh, we took a lot of damage here. Alright, here we got quite a bit of support. I believe this guy gives extreme support, right? Yeah, he gives defense, all enemies. Okay, he's basically going to do almost nothing to us. And I forgot what this android does. Lowers the attack. And also... Hmm. Oh, the reason I brought him is because he links with him too, so... They share quite a bit of links, but I'm going to put Mira here first. Uh, we'll do that. We'll talk about what he does right now in a little bit. And we'll lower your attack. Let's see what he does. I'm not going to heal. He should do alright. 25. I know we have an item present, but uh, that pretty much did nothing after he super attacks, right? Um, so yeah, gimmick is raises attack and defense, attack and defense, and causes spring damage to the enemy, attack and then passive attack defense 100% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack 30% when there is, when all allies attacking in the same turn are extreme types. And also key plus one with each super attack performed up to three. So that's pretty dope. I like that. Um, let's go ahead and take out. Let's just take out Shugesh. And we'll use this to heal back up. And we'll do that. We should survive this turn. Uh, where was I? Performing. Uh, and then... When he transforms, he will transform when your health is 60% or below after the fourth turn. So it'll, it'll be a bit before he transforms. I don't know if we'll get it here, though. Because uh, this is what... 
third turn right now. So if we get supered or something and get hit pretty hard here, then there's a good chance. No, we're fully fully healed, so there'll be none of that here today. So he gets better after every super attack. Ooh, it looks like this guy's not in the category. Oops. Am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, he's not in the category. That, uh... That's a big oops on my part. But it's alright. He's just here for the support. I'll send him off rotation after this. He's still not putting up impressive numbers yet. I think you just need to, uh, I think he would be good for the Goku event, just because his attack keeps going up. Now, now that we got this done with, let's head over to his transform state, which he looks like uh, Super Saiyan 4. <laughs> uh, same leader. Now his, pa his super attack changes, raises attack and causes supreme damage to the enemy. So his defense, his attack and defense doesn't go up anymore. So it looks like for him, you're better off keeping him in the... Hmm. I think we'll focus on you. Do that. And, and I guess these androids aren't in the category as well, so I, I, yeah, I was just link leveling, and uh, I still don't understand how that works, though. I mean, does it level up even if it's not activated, or does it need to be activated? Oof, we should have used an item. I think we're, I think we're done here. <laughs> Hope not. Oof. Okay, we're good now. Ooh, tank should do just fine. Now his transform part was, you know, raises attack only. But he does get attack and defense 20% when performing a super attack. Medium chance to launch an additional. So that's like a 30% chance. Uh, not just super attack. Key plus three plus an additional attack 30% when all allies are, when all, Allies attacking on the same turn is extreme, plus an additional attack and defense, 5% per extreme class ally on the team. Wow, that is ridiculous. That is actually a little ridiculous. So I'm going to go ahead and heal up because I know we're going to die if we don't. Um, I'll go ahead and keep attacking Gotenks here. Yeah, we'll do that for now. So let's see what Miro does here. 22 after super attack. Let's see what he does. So it looks like it's better to keep him in this form as long as possible. So you must keep your health up or above 60% for it not to activate. So it's not too difficult to obtain, but it is a little challenging, right? Ooh, the MVP rotation here. I'll do that. Let's see if we can kill you off. And there we go. Of course you got a super attack. Why don't you? That's still not bad. You get didn't do that much. But, like I said, Mira, I think you're better off keeping him in his for first form for a while. And then think about transforming him later. S Thoughts? I think he's an overall rounded unit to give you guys the support you need. Um, but other than that... 
I don't think he's uh, one of those units that you'll be spending a lot of time on a team. Ooh, come on, Pickle, really? Still good. We're still good. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Next, I gotta try out is uh, Nera Toa. And there we go. We got the transformation at least. Not bad. Not bad. And I'm just using items left and right. Whatever. So right now his defense is probably not too crazy. I think if we go for a longer event, taking no damage, I think he can get pretty high in his defense. So let's see what he can do here. Hopefully he can finish this round for us. Because that android at the end is not giving us any justice here. Like I said, I brought him for his for the key links because I was trying to level him up, but then I ended up doing something else. <laughs> All right, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And it's just gonna keep getting higher and higher. So the goal is to see how high he can get. That's the next question. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here because we're not gonna be able to beat it with this team because two units are not part of the category. So we're definitely going to take an L here. But my thoughts on uh, Mira, uh, they gave him justice. They actually brought him from a unit down below to maybe not top tier, but subpar, I would say. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all I can really say about him. And, you know, categories, he is in quite a bit of categories, which is pretty cool. What is it? Resurrected Warriors, Androids, Transforming Boot, or Transformation Boots, Boost, Time Travelers, uh, Artificial Life Home, Kamehameha, uh, Power Metamorphosis, and Crossover. That's quite a bit. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Eight categories. So, I mean, overall, he's got quite a bit of categories you can run him on. Just because his attack and defense raising is pretty handy but that's pretty much what i got to say about him if you have if i missed anything let me know down below um we'll talk about it some more and uh, as always take care stay out of trouble peace i'm destined to destroy you